I've heard that this was a really tough sequential discovery puzzle, meaning there are tools involved, there are things in here. I see a little pin already rolling around in there. This is the paper that came along with the puzzle. Uh, Abraham's whale, the goal, release the whale. Do not shake, do not hit, do not use force, no banging, no tapping, do not use external tools, do not force tools or fingers into the whale pool. Please note the puzzle contains strong magnets that may break uh, when they hit each other or hit another object. So while using them, it is advisable to hold them well. When you open the lid, you will have a place to store the magnets while they are not in use. It is advisable to put small magnet back in its place only with the same tool you took it out. Okay, that's a, that's a nice clue for any questions and then see you next puzzle. And I've got hints here. So hints are buried under this tape. We won't look at that. Of course, if we get really stuck, then we might have a peek, but for now, I don't think we'll, uh, we'll need it. Another thing that I'm adding to this puzzle solve, which I didn't do prior, is we bought, we bought this, which is a tiny sort of microscopic camera. And what this allows us to do, if we, use some light with it. I will show you this in a second. And how cool is that? So we can see, aha, a little brass pin on the inside here. Man, if I had, there are some puzzles in the past that I wish I had this little camera for, but that's pretty cool. So now forever into a tight squeeze, uh, we do have a way of seeing. Uh, we've got it looks like an arrow pointing this way with this little brass pin moving around. We've got a hole here, a tiny hole here, and it looks like there's a thread on the inside, so that might be screwable is what I'm thinking. Uh, also a tiny hole here. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of tools here. We got the hinge. Oh, you see the hinge? It actually moves. So I'm guessing there's a tool to pull that hinge out. There's a pin here, a hole in the front with like an Allen key sort of hexagon shape there. And uh, and that's about it. And then obviously the lock on top, a four combination lock. If you haven't liked this video already, drop a like, by the way. And uh, maybe we can start the timer here. All right, so first things first. All right, this pin does spin. Is there any way I can unscrew this? It just seems like it's spinning into nothing. There's no real friction there whatsoever. The bottom looks looks to be like a separate plate here on the bottom. Maybe that comes off eventually. I guess once these two are dealt with, uh, maybe it slides this way. I mean, showing the arrow here. These are all little clues that we have. Yeah, that's just that pin on the inside, I guess. Now there are magnets involved. We know that from the description that we were given. To what extent we'll be using those magnets, we don't yet know. I wonder if this is like the first step, but I, I'm pretty sure yeah, I'm pretty sure I need a tool for this because I could just use my pen and poke it out, but that is not the way. We know that with sequential discovery, everything has a reason. Now, my first question is where do I get this four digit number from? Because I don't see any numbers whatsoever in this entire puzzle. Yeah, there's just nothing. Is there a clue on the lock itself? Is there something on the inside there? Any numbers written down? And there's a whale on the inside of this, apparently. This first step is, uh, isn't obvious. I wonder if the first step is to get the lock off or if that's the last step. I figured it would be the last step, right? But if it is the last step, then there needs to be, obviously, steps before that. And I can't really, I can't really make out what that would be other than this. You know, the only tool I can see is maybe this rod here. Let's read once again here, just in case. The goal is release the whale. Okay, do not shake, do not hit. Strong magnets. Yeah, I don't, I don't wanna be using a hint this early on. We're five minutes in, we're gonna give it some time. Got my coffee. What are you guys drinking? Hmm. Maybe I have to move the pin somewhere. Doesn't seem to be doing much there. Maybe I have to move it here. Oh, where that arrow is. It does open a slight bit, as you can see. So again, I don't know if that opens or it slides forward, but it does open a little bit. Normally with these things, there's always a clue within the name. Puzzlers love to hide hidden meaning within names. So maybe Abraham's whale 
What if I Google what is Abraham's whale? Abraham's well, which is a historical water well. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see how this helps us. So why Abraham? This guy's name isn't Abraham at all. I'm trying to feel if there's like an orientation here. Seems to be the only thing I can move. Release the whale. Release the whale. That's the goal. Release the whale. The whale's in the prison. We have to release it. Kind of like, kind of like Free Willy. God. You know, with these, I often say, as soon as you find that first move, things tend to snowball. Uh, but finding that first move can be extremely difficult with sequential discovery puzzles that are made to stump you, that are made to stump me. Puzzle solvers all around the world. There are, there are many puzzle solvers that are way better at solving puzzles than I am, by the way. I do appreciate all the flattery, and you guys say, well, you solve puzzles for a living. That doesn't mean that I'm the best puzzle solver. It just means I enjoy solving puzzles. Because uh, I do believe there are, you know, very smart people out there who do uh, solve puzzles better than I. And, obviously, puzzle creators who understand puzzles better than I. All right, what about this? Like, 9, 5, is that, like, a code here? I, I can't even decipher, like, numbers. Oh, 1, maybe upside down. 1, 5, 6, 0, no. 0, 9, 5, 1. I mean, there's no way. One thing I will say, if I wanted to brute force this lock, um, I can spin it, but if I pull at the same time, maybe the lock picking lawyer uh, knows more about this than I do, but if I pull at the same time, it stops here. It stops at the one. Every other number spies, uh, spins freely. But as soon as I get to the one, it stops moving. Let's see if that happens here. Happen there again. Let's keep going. Happened again. One, nine, nine. Let's keep going. Yo, no way! I for sure thought I was just, <laughs> I was like, I feel something, but I thought there's no way that this is gonna open. There's the code. And what was it, 1993. But why? Did we just finish the puzzle? Oh my God. Well, this isn't going anywhere. Yo. Okay, hold on. I am going to. We'll look at it after. I don't. I don't know. Okay, there's. I'm very conflicted right now because I don't know if I messed up the puzzle by doing it th in this order. And I kind of want to see what that number was for. Do I find out later? Is this messing everything up? Hey, we'll see. Yes. All right. So we have two things now. Does this open up? It does. Oh, wow. As he said, we'd have a place for the magnets, which we do. Okay. So this had to be the first step in order to get all this out. This had to be the first step. There's, oh, all right. We're just getting a ton of things at this point. And we have a magnet here. Another magnet here, but this one. This one won't come out. And we have lots of things on the inside here. Oh, that's the whale. So right under there, let's see if I can focus here with this thing. There it is, right under there. All right, you get it. <laughs> so there is a whale in there now. You can probably just see it without the microscope, honestly. It's hanging in behind this rod 
in the middle. Okay, so we have a whole new set of things now. Yeah, why 1993? I have no idea. Does it have something to do with Abraham's well? I guess we'll find out towards the end. Oh, there's this as well. Oh, no, that's what I put in there. Okay, I did put that in there just now. Are these tools? Oh, this looks like it might fit in here. Okay, so we have a rod right now traversing this, which my guess, can this open if that rod isn't there? This looks like it might be the final little trap here. I think we have to find a tool because that rod leads all the way to this little uh, Allen key here. So if we find a tool, maybe we can unscrew this, free that rod and open the top part here. We also have a magnet here that seems to be stuck because we have another part here. It seems like that magnet should be, uh, yeah, any other magnets anywhere else. Seems to be a really strong attraction right here. Ooh, in here. Well, that, ooh, my God. Okay, that's really tough. That might just be that other magnet then, I guess, is my guess. All right, what about this? Is there another tool in here? So this was in here. Well, it says no forcing, so I'm not gonna, I'm actually not gonna force that in there. Oh, oh. Here we go. We have a button. And as you can see, take a look at that hole there. If I go here, there is a hole that appears. And you can see it bounce down here as well. So that shaft is all connected with that hole there. And this hole seems to be a little off center or if there is a way that I can twist this at the same time, maybe using the magnet or something. Because right now, doing this, that hole doesn't line, the hole on the rod that I'm pushing down on does not line up with the hole in front of the puzzle. So I think we would have to align that somehow so that once that's in there, I can put something else in there, perhaps. Very interesting. And then this rod here. Oh, I can actually turn that, whatever that rod is. Let me turn it again. Don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this, but it feels like I can turn it. Yes, and now it's lined up. Look at that. I've lined it up. I'm thinking if I could push this, maybe something can jam in there to keep it down so that I can use this again and I don't know, you know? Also there's this and I feel like I can see all the way through there. There is something going on in those holes as well. Aha, uh -huh. aha. Uh -huh. There is a rod here. You can see that rod. And if I go like this, that rod is now gone and it leaves us with something there. I gotta get something in there. What if I magnetize this? Let's try it. Oh, okay. So that rod goes through both of those holes. There's a shaft here and that rod goes both back and forth. However, this side has nothing. So if you look at the bottom of the right hole here, there's nothing down there. But down here, there seems to be something. And as far as I can make out, that might be a tiny magnet. It might look like a tiny magnet. There's also that hole here, which has nothing. And then this one, which, which bounces and opens up this hole here. Okay, so we got a lot of a lot of little holes to look at. And of course, whatever this is down here, which which now fits, by the way. Okay, pretty sure it didn't before. We don't wanna drop anything in there either. Jeez Louise. All right. And this, something goes in there to block that. Also, you've got the rod traversing these two sides. We've got something there. There are a bunch of little scuff marks on this puzzle right here, which leads me to believe that this probably has something to do with it. So this plate does come off, but what's preventing it from coming off is that rod that I have to get out of here. So I do need an extra tool. So somewhere within all of this is a hidden tool. Might it be under this magnet? Maybe. Could it be, I mean, it could be, it could be anywhere really. Also this, you know, Maybe that rod, I really feel like this rod here 
because of the arrow might have to come through here. And, and if this rod, I feel like it has to come through here. And if that's the case, like that is extremely difficult. Like there is no way I'm gonna make that happen. I'm trying to find a way to get this, this out here. Oh, 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 look at the brass pin right now. Look how it's placed. It's on an angle. It's like this. It's going, okay, hold on a second. Is it in there? I don't see the brass pin anywhere. That brass pin is gone. It's like in there now, I think hope I don't know but I hear it rattling around I just okay maybe maybe I don't have to align the pin this way maybe I have to align it the other way does that hole go all the way through A text, a test of dexterity. Damn it. I'm pretty sure that rod is a tool for my next thing. So all I gotta do. Like that rod is nowhere to be found within this grid anymore. It is now gone. So where is it? Is it stuck in the shaft? Yes. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Okay. We've made some progress. So that locks that into place. Right now I have like a lock on that thing. I don't know. I don't know what that does for me but it is now locked into place. I don't think it does anything. I think that, that rod, maybe I need it for somewhere else. Maybe here. Oh. All right, now I've placed this little brass pin here. It is flush, it is plumb with the top of that. Uh, I can use this to push down on it and there is a spring. Oh, maybe now I can retract it with the magnet. Hold on. Maybe now this magnet, and once I hit the spring, oh, I thought for sure that would work. Okay, this has to be the right spot for that, because there's no way that that would just coincidentally have, you know, be flush there. Oh, look at this. If I go here, look. That just shot out. That's crazy. Oh, hold on. It now stays down. Look at this thing right now. <laughs> it's like performing surgery on a puzzle. And then it pops out as soon as I move that. So there's like a little spring action there. This needs to come out. This one here needs to come out. Because, like, this has two spots for two magnets. So clearly that needs to come out. And this has to be some combination of all of this, what I'm doing right now, has to be how it comes out. Pushing this down. What if I use both? I'm thinking this button here, okay, there's a magnet holding this magnet, or a metal holding this magnet. I think by pushing this, I'm sort of separating the two magnets. Because if I go here... If I, if I put a magnet here and I start pushing on this, it moves the rod, right? So if it moves the rod, that means if I have a powerful magnet on top that is more powerful than the one pulling it on the bottom, it should be able to just come out. Oh, got it. Yes. Aha, I was correct. Let's go. Okay, we now have a place for the big magnet, a place for the small magnet. 
Got to watch they don't clink together. Ugh, God. Okay, they are now safe and separated. You know, I probably, I probably will end up needing it somewhere else because it wasn't attached to anything, which means it's probably a tool. Okay. What if now I have like an ultra strong magnet? Oh, and there is a magnet here. It's repelling. Okay. Yep, and there wasn't anything there before. Okay, hold on a second. I'm wondering if the uh, opposite force will be able to move whatever's hidden in here, whatever's jammed in there. Doesn't look like it, and I wonder if a magnet would affect it. What if all the magnets? So a few things right now. There's a rod going across. We have some type of ma uh, magnet that's stuck in there. We know it's a magnet. And we also have this pin coming down, which is stopped by this Allen key, which we do not have a key for quite yet. So we do still need to find some type of key that would allow us to open this here. That is still something we do not have. Okay, there is a hole here. Okay, I mean, it fits in there as well, but no spring that time. Why would there be a hole here? And why can I see all the way through? Did I just push that down more? I did. Oh, hold on. So if I, I might be able to push that all the way through. Maybe with this? No. Can I push it back up? I can. So that thing that's in there moves ever so slightly. Okay, now that brass pin is stuck. Ooh. Oh no, that brass pin is now stuck in there. Why is it stuck in there though? Mm -mm. All right, I think I'm in trouble. That brass pin is now officially stuck. Uh -uh. That's got to be the key for this, is what I'm guessing, whatever's in there. Now, if I'm banging it, it's only because I, I, I stuck a piece in there. And it's not magnetic, so that should not be stuck. That should just slide out. All right, well, we've lost a little brass pin. Well, you know what? They shouldn't have made that pin the size of that hole then. Okay, that is definitely stuck in there. All right, I'm wondering if I can just... Is that moving? I'm not sure if that's moving. I feel like that's coming out. Yeah, I feel like that's definitely more out than it was. Still hung up on this, uh, the fact that I jammed this little thing in here. Oh, that is working. Hold on. All right. Not sure if that was the, uh, that was probably an unorthodox way of opening this, but hey, they said no external tools. We did not use any external tools. That should come out. It does come out, which means this comes off. It does come off. And there is the whale. All right. We've got the whale. It is on a little rod here. Now, what is that rod connected to? Oh, interesting. What if I can do that? Okay, this rod, I feel, moves back and forth within this. So what I'm thinking is, yeah, that rod, there's some room here and here for that rod to move back and forth. I'm just not sure. 
where that rod has to be. Feels like that whole middle part comes out. I think this comes off, but I'm, did I kind of screw myself by putting this brass rod in here? And how do I get that back out? I'm very, very confused about that. I don't understand why this would be there. I don't understand why that rod would be in there and why I wouldn't have access to it. Why is that now stuck in there? It was the same size as the rod. Why would they put that hole there and not allow me to, you know, get it out of there? Did it say no spinning? Didn't say no spinning. Okay, hold on. This can go there now. So I'm kind of using this as a little lever tool to try and pull this out, but it's not really doing anything. And I think it might be because of this. I hope not. Gosh, I feel like that's part of the problem here. Now, just because they're little doesn't mean they aren't difficult. This one is definitely giving me a hard time. Stupid little brass thing that's stuck in there. I'm sure that's... I'm sure it's preventing me from getting this out somehow. Because the rod with the whale shifts back and forth a little bit. Oh no, <laughs> I slapped it back in there. Oh no, um, how did I get that out in the first place? Oh yeah. Oh no, I can't get it out now because the brass pin is here. No, I need that brass pin to push down the thing here. Oh no. Oh no, I have failed. Oh no, I need an external tool because that brass pin was used to push uh, the magnet that's hidden here down so I can retrieve this magnet, which right now, apparently, as long as it's, yeah, as long as it's attached to that bottom one, there's no way that I can get that out. Darn it. So I absolutely have to get this brass pin out. And there's no way to do that. Like, I don't know what I'm doing here. I think I'm pretty much done with this puzzle. To be honest, I think this is the end of the road. But why would that hole be there then? Why would it allow me to put that brass pin in there? And not allow me to retrieve it whatsoever? Like, I can't push it in any further. And I can't get it out. I can't do anything. I can push this in, but what does that do? It does nothing. After all this effort. All right, let's take a look at the hints here. Ugh, I hate that we have to do this, but we have to do it. Number one, movie for lock. What the hell does that mean, movie for lock? What movie? Is it, is it Free Willy? Release the whale. I mentioned Free Willy earlier, randomly. Wait, hold on. 1993, Free Willy, 1993, and that was the, okay. All right, that isn't even, I feel like that isn't even fair, to be honest. Like, I don't, I didn't enjoy that at all. I had to, I had to forcefully find that. There's no way I would have found that. That's the small magnet. Whale in captivity. Always look towards the exit where you need to put the small magnet. Okay, the exit is here. I don't have the small magnet. Whales in captivity always look towards... Oh, and then fishing to put the whale back in the pool. Whales in captivity always look towards the exit where you need to put the small magnet. Where's the exit? Quite disappointed right now. Not gonna lie. This is uh, a few hours of my life. Absolutely ruined. <laughs> he does have an email where I can contact him. I might just need a really extremely strong magnet to get that off there. Or actually, if I just find a pin, I can probably do that. But still, this doesn't help me with this. Uh, I know it says no external tools, but I do need to use this pin in order to get this out. All right, got that out. All right, well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to write this guy an email telling him that this is stuck in there and asking him if that's okay. And if it is, then we'll keep going. If it isn't, then I will... We'll see what he says, all right? Okay, I did send an email off. Before we get to that, look at this. My brother got me a shirt for my birthday. <laughs> Very fitting. Too, too fitting. Too fitting. 
So after I was stumped, I ended up writing an email, but I didn't get a response until much later. But I do want to say that there was a response and there is a reason for all of this. Um, keep watching. I'm going to solve the puzzle, but then we'll talk about the rest of it. Whales in captivity look towards the exit where you need to put the small magnet. So I've placed the small magnet uh, where the whale is facing. And look, it... It comes out a bit. It comes out a lot. Hold on. I think the only thing stopping this from coming out is that small rod on the bottom needs to be moved. And there it is. There's the last rod. And oh my goodness. The whale. All right, so Unfortunately, we did get a piece stuck in there and I still don't know why that piece is in there. I don't know why that hole is there. I did write him an email, so hopefully he can help me figure that out. So here's the thing. I bought this puzzle from an auction site and I was sent, I was sent this here, which are the instructions. However, the part that they left out was actually very important. And both of those things are things that I kind of messed up during the puzzle. The creator, Idan Schwartz, who is very, very friendly and courteous and responded uh, almost within the hour, sent me a wonderful email saying that he could take this puzzle back and fix it for me, which is very kind, thank you so much. But as you can see here, it says, pay attention to these two points. <laughs> Number one, the Allen screw should only be opened with the Allen key. And number two, the small rod at the bottom of the puzzle, where the arrow is, should not go into any hole at the bottom of the puzzle. So those are two things that I completely ignored because they were not originally on here. And I'm, I'm just blocking his email here, but they're not, uh, it's not on here. It doesn't tell me any of that. So I was missing some crucial, vital information before solving this puzzle, which did lead me to getting the puzzle irreparably stuck. Well, irreparably, I say that on my end, but if I send this over to him, he'll surely fix it. But it is also the reason I can't put this puzzle back together um, the way I started it. So I'll give you my final thoughts. I thought this puzzle was great, especially for someone, I believe this is his first sequential discovery puzzle. I'll be definitely uh, keeping an eye out for his future releases because this one, had everything. It had that sense of intuition, that intuitive nature of these sequential discoveries where you find something and then you immediately move to the next thing because it fits here. I just think it's a shame that I didn't get all the information. So don't crucify me in the comments too much. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It was definitely one of the harder puzzles I've solved in a long time. A small puzzle that packs big. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like if you do enjoy this content. Subscribe for more of these videos, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.